summer heat, there's nothing quite like making a splash in the shadow of a covered bridge. It's just amazing that so many of them have swimming holes as well. It's kind of a two-for-one deal. It's a, it's a pretty special aspect of the White Mountains and New Hampshire. It seems appropriate that our first stop to take a dip is in the town of Bath. The Big Eddy is under the Swiftwater Bridge. This structure spanning the wild Ammanusik is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. What is it about those covered bridges that we like so much? I don't know. Bath has three of them, so <laughs> they're very special to Bath. <laughs> Along with a refreshing waterfall, you'll find a trio of cascading pools spilling down the stone staircase below the Swiftwater Bridge. This is like what we call the upper falls, and then you got the lower falls underneath. And, um, you know, it's definitely one of those interesting places that definitely changes overnight. When you go around the state, I'll have people who say, oh, where do you live? Yeah. Oh, Daddy, I went there when I was in camp. You know, <laughs> they came up here on vacation. Is it still there? Yes. <laughs> water slide, <laughs> but made out of rocks. One family from France stumbled upon this spot while visiting some of the state's covered bridges. Because it's unique, uh, like, it's typical of New England. We don't see them elsewhere in the world, so for us it's like, it's, it's very picturesque. It's not even too slippery, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Memorial Day to Labor Day, it is the spot to be for tourists and people to stop and buy. You know, it's, it's, uh, we're proud of it, um, but we kind of like to have it as our own sometimes. <laughs> From the Swift Water Bridge to the Swift River. We're popping up in Conway at our next swimming hole underneath Conway's Swift River Bridge. This can be a peaceful place to cool down. I love it. It seems like a little secret local spot. And she's having a blast. Oh, yeah, beyond a blast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like an amusement park for her. She just loves it. There's so much to do. Because of the current, I can float down it. And also the rocks I jump off of. This is really refreshing. It's pretty good. I'm really having a good time. My two grandchildren and my two sons brought me up here, so I've got three generations enjoying your beautiful place. What do you think about this? It's awesome, and, and we like swimming down here a, a lot. We also like the Kangabangus. I love it. You know, there's, there's, there's a good mix of environments over here. You know, there's the rocky areas you can climb. Like you said, the areas you can swim, areas you can float down in tubes and whatnot. The water level is low now, but Conway historian Bob Cottrell recounts a time when the power of the Swift River was unleashed. In 1869, there was what we call a freshet, which is a rising of the water. And it actually picked this bridge up and smashed it into the next bridge, to the Saco River Bridge, destroying both bridges and ending up, uh, the debris ended up about two miles down river. This was rebuilt using the salvaged timbers. What makes this bridge kind of cool is that it's closed down to cars and all traffic, which makes it a perfect place for a picnic. Waking up in the morning and just having, you know, the sunrise and the covered bridges and off the water and it's just spectacular, yeah. The Swift River meets the Saco a short tube ride away at our final destination, complete with sandy beach and a view of the Saco River covered bridge. You ladies have the perfect place to cool off in summertime. It feels good, yes, it's nice, very nice. Yeah, love it here, it's beautiful. When our kids were little, we used to start up at the Swift River Bridge and bring them down here and then we'd walk back up and they'd go four or five times a day. They'd do that little route, it was just fantastic, they loved it. 
You guys have quite the little caravan going. Yes, yeah, we actually tube down from uh, Eastern Slope Campground, so there's a little beach there and you can come all the way down to here. So we parked a car here to uh, tube all the way down, so it's good. So who's having more fun, you or the dog? Um, I don't know. My favorite thing to do in the water is do tricks and stuff because it's really fun. It's just beautiful with the covered bridge, you know, and then the water's really warm to have the sandy beach. It's not super crowded. I forgot my chair. You forgot your bathing suit, yes, and your lunch and your cooler, yes. All those things are necessary. <laughs> this spot has quite an industrial history. There was a chair making factory right across the river here. There was a um, casket making factory. There were wagon making factories. Um, and the largest wooden heel mill uh, in the world was right here. Today, these Saco riverbanks are filled with folks looking for some R&R. It's great because it's only down the road and we don't have to travel that far to get the, that kind of a beach. Um, we've been tubing before. Um, it's like an all-day thing. It's gorgeous. So you get the best of both worlds. Swimming holes like these offer a view of the Granite State's past as new summer memories are made.